This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. We're somewhere in London. This is Dylan White for Eiffel TV in association with Buddy Snatcher Boxing. Do you know what? <laughs> I haven't even asked you about this. You've no. actually started off your new YouTube channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's jumping on it, man, you know, it's hopefully show people a few different sides of me, to me and stuff, you know what I mean? And just everyday life, not just training. You know, even just going shopping, pushing the shopping chili around this, this thing. I'm looking forward to doing some challenges as well, I think. Ah, man, Mike is saying about doing some, some pepper challenge, you know, like the hot chips. I said to him, you're looking to put me in that sport. <laughs> I'm not pepper man at all. Do you think there's a big demand to see people watch you push a shopping trolley around Waitrose? You never know. There's, all, Waitrose, there's all kind of freaks in the world, in the shop? world man. I shop, I shop anyway, bro. I'm, I'm not a prima donna. I, I'm just a normal guy, bro. I do normal stuff. I don't shop online and all. I just do normal stuff, bro. I'm, just, I'm like, I'm just a normal guy, bro. People, I'm just a normal guy. I just do normal things. It doesn't matter if, I'm, if I got um, 200 million in the bank, I'll still just be me, bro. I'll do normal stuff. But sometimes I would remind myself that, oh, you know, I mean, I'm actually, you know, so just the normal geezer, bro. The normal things. Um, oh, I watched your fight the day after. Mm-hmm. That my jumper? Yeah, I can see that. Is this the one that you exchanged with Derek? Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, me, you know, me and Derek got a lot of issues together, so this was sort of like a battle trophy. He gave me one of his check suit. I gave him... Well, he gave me a full check suit. I gave him a hoodie. And he was like, oh, I want the pants. I was like, brother, I'm wearing the pants. I can't give you the pants. But you've actually been wearing it as well. Yeah, yeah of course. Obviously. I like it, it's nice. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> yes. Can I can you give me 20 minutes, Paul? I'm just in the middle of an interview. Sorry. I'll call you straight back, buddy. Ah, ah thank you. Yeah, go on. How soon did you watch your fight back? I watched it a few days after because I was trying to find it in the demand section and I couldn't find it and I didn't set record as well. You didn't record your own fight? No. I did actually. I recorded it at one house, but then after the fight I came up to another house and then at this house I didn't record it. So how many pay-per-views did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Are I you, brought like 10. <laughs> are you trying to add to your numbers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. No, I just brought one, but... I didn't go to the house um, where, where it was. Okay. So... <laughs> just know, randomly just keep buying the paper you keep buying it. Um, <coughs> you know, yeah, so you watched it, what, the day after, was it? No, about three, four days after. Or something. Three, four days? Mm. Is there a reason for that? Or you just you struck me someone that would have watched it, that? I kept trying to check it, trying to check it in the demand section. I couldn't find it, but... I, you know, I, I don't watch what's happening and going. I just try and <laughs> look towards the future, man. I just remember it was a good fight, it was a good fight. I turned up, Sazo turned up, the punches getting everywhere, you know, the punches, flying elbows, everything. It was, you know, it was a good fight. And then me and Derek fight, it's, it's a shame that, they, that we won't fight again, you know what I mean? Because it's, if Derek's on his guys where so much goes on in the fight and around the fight, you know what I mean? You know, he's, he's, a, he's an unorthodox kind of character, you know? When you were watching it back, did you feel like, <clears throat> from a kind of fan point of view, it was a better fight to watch or...? Not necessarily been, but... Like it was one hell of a it. fight. Yeah, but do you think it was a better fight than the first one? That's what I mean. You know what? The first one... It was, it was a much better fight, I think. It was a much better fight. Derek turned up. He was in shape. Throwing loads of punches. I, I was um, boxing and outsmarting him as usual. You know, which is what I did in the last fight. But this time, I changed a few things. I nullified him a lot as well. And I didn't lose my cool and get engaged a while with him. When I hurt him... I stepped back and took my time and picked him apart because, you know, when I hit him in the second round, I could have gone and forced a stoppage, but it wouldn't have been a good... It would have been a stoppage where I just blunder him and he sucked, because there it's tough. You know, he doesn't get laid out like that, you know what I mean? I know that, you know, I would have gone and finished the top top and been rock dog and referee would have stopped it. And, you know what I mean? As I said, I won one clean knockout punch. I said it the whole time, you know, and um, even with Mark, I was having a conversation with Mark in the corner and I said, listen, Mark, don't worry about it. Don't watch it. You don't worry about it. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I said, Mark, in the second half of the fight, I'm going to get him. And then in the ninth round, Mark goes, listen, it's close. Do the, do the voice. He went, 
All right, Sean, listen, it's very close. I got you ahead by two rounds, but listen, Sean, you need to go out there, get his job done. And I said, all right, Sean. I said, all right, all right, all right. Don't worry, I'm going to get him in the next two rounds. And then Jimmy went, all right, Sean, I know you, I know, I know you know what you're doing, but let's remember, throw the toes in fresh, all right? And I said, all right, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy and Mark, funny, man. I like both of them guys, they're funny guys, you know. I mean, it's fair to say you're known as a body punch finisher. Mm -hmm. But you That's what she said. <laughs> finisher, no, go on. <laughs> Whatever what you were trying to say there, it's disgusting. I don't even no. know what you were trying to say there. You said body punch finisher, and I said finisher. Finisher, okay. Um, but there is more to your game than just body punching. If you, you've got to land them shots. <clears throat> Listen, you've got to be able to adapt and implement, and, 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 and I'm one of those guys where I'm very good at adapting to the task and, um, and strategizing on the job while in the heat at the moment, because I know they train for my, my left hook, I know they train for me getting to the body, so even I didn't work the body as much, when I did work the body, I hurt him with the body punches. As you can see, when I hurt him, I was talking him, I said, you don't like these body punches, but I knew, because David, every time I fight, he always come in and my hook, my body punches, my jab, so I know they train for those things. I know specific David that train for those things, so I changed it up. You know what I mean? I, did, I, threw, I threw right hands. I didn't work the body as much. But when I did a, I didn't, I, I didn't throw my left hook as much early doors. I was very patient and very calm and took my time. And I watched Derek's fight. If you box him, his, his mind wanders and he makes tactical mistakes. But if you engage in a war with him, he enjoys that. And he's like, like I said, I call him the Black Viking. You know, the more you punch him in the face, the more he rallies, you know what I mean? So, you know, I knew that if I dragged that a bit, box him a bit, it would make the technical mistake. Early in the fight, he was slipping the left foot quite well. Mm. And then I made it, I made an adjustment. I made an adjustment and then, you know, I knew that stop throwing the left foot, throw more right hands, get him to focus on the right hands. I had a good see the left foot got caught me. I threw a lazy right hand and left it there and he saw his left foot and he opened up for his left foot. I threw mine tight and sharp. He threw his wide. I threw mine tight and sharp, but bring my hand back, boom! Right on the point of his chin, right there. And that was that. Best knockout of your career? I don't know, man. I've knocked a lot of people out, you know. I don't know, what's it, 18 knockouts I think I got, something. I don't know, you know. Some of my early knockouts in my career was quite, quite vicious and quite brutal, but, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I don't know, but I knew I was going to knock him out. I said it in the whole build-up. I said it the whole time. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to make you bleed, and I'm going to knock you out. And that's exactly that. There was, um, hold on. Can I just put this in here? That's, that's, what, that's what I said. Don't leave it, leave it. There we go. Just because these cheap Sri Lankan mics are a bit temperamental. We so, should buy some, some from Japan next time, or India, China. China. Um, there was a great moment after the fight where you, we saw you two kind of just sitting there. Yeah. Uh, the war was over. It, everything was over and it was just you two sitting on the sofa together kind of just reminiscing about what just happened in the ring. It was brilliant to see. you got to show respect, you know what I mean? Listen, I, 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 like I said, I'm a person where respect and honour means a lot to me. I'm a red and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Listen, me and Derek, we spend a lot of time training for each other, mentally and physically preparing for each other. We went to war with each other. We talked so much smack to each other. We made each other lots of money. We, we, we've changed his career. So you have to pay some of that respect, you know? And he's turned up. He always turned up. And Derek's tough. You know what I mean? He's not like he's one of those guys that's going to turn up. And, you know, he's tough. And, you know, when he turned up, he's going to give a great fight. And we had some great fights. So it was just like, you know, I got respect for you, bro. Good luck with whatever you decide to do and whatever. And, at the end of the day, he's a man providing for his family as well, so you have to show respect, you know. I, I, listen, I'm usually very respectful and very cool and calm until people start giving me a stick. Then I go off. But everyone only see the videos and the clips of me going off. No one see me being cool and people is, is winding me up, you know, so. I know, uh, obviously, this is a bit irrelevant now, but what on earth happened? And Because I, I haven't spoke to you since then. What ever happened at the, at the weigh-in? Because, I mean, we saw... Don Charles being pushed for uh, Cesaro flung uh, Don Charles down for an, uh, a partition wall. It was just madness. What, what actually started that? I know you've spoken about that on your own channel, but what actually started that? 
Well, we was on the stage, we was on the stage, and Derek, as usual, he's talking to me, and I'm saying, yeah, cool, whatever, whatever. I'm being cool. I'm like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Then he started, and my brother's come. My brother's on the stage. So started, my brother's saying, oh, yeah, after the fight, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get you, da, da, da. So I lost it, you know. And I'm saying, listen, say what you want to me. That's cool. Me and you're fighting. But when you start trying to bring it onto my family and that, then... You know, tell him my, my brother suck his mother and all that sort of stuff or whatever. And then, you know, so I went off. I went off, you know, I went off, I went off. And then after, there's a little bit of easy bargy on the stage or whatever. And then, bargy. Whatever. What did you I, call I was it? using the Sri Lankan version. What did you call it? Easy bargy. <laughs> Is your budget? There's a bit of onion budget. Yeah, onion budget. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm gonna get stick for that, guys. Coogan <laughs> said onion so budget. Right, no, I, I said easy budget. Yeah, before you people. He said out onion budget, but so yeah, like, but no, no. So, so no, it, it was um, it was quite good. It was um, and then we got up the stage and so we were shouting this and the other. So I just rushed him. I just rushed him. I just rushed him. You know what I mean? I don't mind. I was rushing to him and his security and David and all that. I just rushed all of them. You know, I don't mind. Say what you want to me, I'm cool, but you start talking about shutting my family and that, then, you know, I, I, I'll go off, man. I'll, I'll, I'll see, you know. you know. And that's what happened. And then Dan Charles was holding him, trying to calm him down. He flung Dan off, dashed Dan, and then he actually he looked at Dan like that, and he just thought, fuck it, and just carried on. I was like, what? And you know what's funny? Don didn't stay with him. Don stayed in my hotel. I saw Don at breakfast in the morning. I said to him, my friend, get up from here and go sit over there. And he was like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. And then he went over there. It's mad, isn't it, how all this stuff can happen and then you have that kind of fight, but then you can still find the, that kind of common respect between you two that that's you know, all over now and it's done with. This ain't war with guns and knives and things. This is glad Rachel. It's mano a mano. You, know, you have to respect so I mean, even if you, you knock him out, whatever, it isn't. Everyone of four, win, loser, draw, knock out, all should have respect, you know what I mean? And that's, you know, when you, it takes a lot, man. Boxing, the training, getting in in front of millions of people around the world, it takes a lot, so you have to respect the people, you know. I respect everyone. Every single one of four, I show respect. I respect everyone, you know what I mean? Because it's not easy. It's not easy getting in there and getting smashed in your face in front of everyone and the pressure of your people is fighting and you... And then, you know what I mean, if you lose, you, 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 if you lose, you're messed up. You have to t- start way back down again and everything. So I respect people stepping there and, and people stepping there and give me a good fight. As well, not people stepping there and just want to move around and run around for 12 rounds. You know, people come to fight. I always think after a fight, especially like the one you had, mm. the, the, the post-fight interview, the immediate one, is either the best idea in the world or the worst idea in the world because... You're as pumped as you're ever going to be at any mm. point in the build-up, the fight, whatever, straight after that, especially after you, what happened with you and I was pretty calm, though. I know, you was calm, and then you kind of just then looked over at Joshua, called him a lanky piece of shit. Because he keeps avoiding people. He don't want to... He, he, listen, he said... I'm, listen, I'm not getting on anything, but he said he wanted 50 million to fight Wilder. Wilder gave him 50 million. Why didn't he fight him? Then now, all of a sudden, because Wilder's fighting Fury, and all of a sudden... He wants to fight Wilder. Before Tyson Fury come back, he said, oh, I want to fight Fury. He's a fat piece of whatever, whatever. No, Fury is back. Outbox Wilder. He doesn't want to fight Fury all of a sudden. I wrote my way up to number one. You know, I've had nine fights since I lost him. Fighting my way back up. I'm number one in two or three governing bodies now. And then he said, oh, well, I want to fight Wilder or someone else. If not, then it's you. Come on, man. You know why there's going to fight Fury. So Unless there's secret thoughts going on behind what, closed door. What did you want him to say at that point? Yes, you're next. I want to fight you next. Is that what you wanted I him wanted to, to say? I wanted to say, yes, but let's make it happen. All right, but if he's still kind of unclear of what situation is happening at the moment with Wilder and Fury, then does he have a point to say, look, that's the fight I want, one of them, but if I can't have them, then, then, it's you, then I want you. He just needs to stop being so flipping... Different mental, man. You know, he just needs to just, he needs to, to just, he needs to fight people, innit? Like, he just, I don't know what's going on, man. You know what? Joshua is in the business of fighting easy and mediocre fights and making loads of money, you know? Why wouldn't he fight Wilder for 50 million? I'll fight Wilder tomorrow. 
if he offer me to fight tomorrow, I'll go in there, I'll give him hell for however long my, my tank my tank lost. You fight him for free, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, nah, I like fighting. Take that I back would. Then. I like fighting, but you know, I, mean, I wouldn't want to fight him for free. But you know. Um, what did you make of his comments then on Sky after that situation kind of diffused? He got angry because he got booed. The Golden Goose got angry because um, the fans booed him. He was like, why is my fans booing me? Ah! Ah! Why is my fans booing me? I'm Anthony Joshua. I'm Anthony A Force Joshua. I'm a legend. Why are they booing me? <laughs> he went home and cried. He went home and looked at himself in the mirror. And do you know that Tennessee does that? Why are they fucking booing me? Why are they booing me? I'm Anthony Joshua. I'm, I'm the London Olympic gold medalist. You know what I mean? He got angry. He got so angry because they was booing him. He got mad. He got so mad. And then he tried to be a bad boy. Oh, last time we fought, I knocked him spark out. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, bro. I was like, you're not a bad man, just relax, man. Called just, you an idiot, yeah. He's not a bad man. I don't know why is he doing it. He just needs to relax. You know, he just needs to relax because he, he, he's, he's showing his true colours. He needs to relax. Go there. Oh, I'll keep my lid on, but if I unleash on these guys, none of these guys ain't on my level. It's like, you're not Mike Tyson, my friend. Relax. And you're not unleashing on me, bro. I don't get down like that. Go unleash on your missus, not on me, bro. <laughs> okay. Um... All right, April 13th. Is this now the plan for you? You want Joshua April 13th? I have no idea. I've got to wait. Come on. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. I expected him and his team to at least contact me. I'm not meeting the lady till another two weeks, I think, or something. So I don't know what's going on. That's not enough time to prepare for a fight like that. You need to know what's going on so you start preparing from now. But Hearn said that he wants Joshua's situation resolved by the end of this month. So if it is to be... That's the... a madness. I need to know what I'm doing now. Well, well, at the end of this month? Well, what, what, am right. I do? what am I going to do? What am I going to sit around and wait? No, I need to know what's going on so I can start preparing. These kind of fights, you need to prepare, you know, three, four months of these kind of fights, you know, straight away. Like, you need to know what you're doing in advance, you know, and get proper drug testing as well, three, four months out as well. What do you think the realistic chances are that it is you and him to rematch on April the 1st? I have as no idea. You might I have, I have some no idea. idea. I have no idea. You spoke to Adrian. What did Adrian say? Did he give you any sort of clue? He said that as long as you're sensible, the fight can be made. Yeah. I am sensible. I know what value I bring to the fight. You know, I know what value I bring to the fight. I know exactly what value, value I will bring to the fight. So as long as they're sensible, then the fight can happen. I'm not a mug. I've worked hard to get to where I've got to. And I've grafted and worked my way up, you know what I mean? I, I went from fighting a massive fight to having some keep busy fight against a nobody. I worked my way back and built up my brand. So as long as they're sensible, the fight can happen. It's not me. I, I'm not a mug. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? I'm not a mug. So... <laughs> now you're making him throw a of punches. Yeah, let's work on your movement. <laughs> um, All right, Shan, keep it together. <laughs> so, have you got a, a meeting scheduled with Hearn coming up? Yeah, I meant to meet him soon. I think 15 to 14 for something. I don't know. One of them days. I think he's in the Grand Canary Island like, enjoying himself. He's in Benidorm. I don't know. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, Benidorm. See, so when you get that kind of alien money, you can go to places like that. Where'd you go on holiday? Me? Yeah. In my bed. Holiday in your bed? Three days straight in the bed. I didn't even, took, I didn't even take a shower. I just in there for three days. No, oh. I'm joking. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> I put a sunbathe in. I was like, ha. Ah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Wait, okay. Joshua April 13th aside, if it's not to be there, when do you want to be out? The same sort of time? Yeah, the same yeah. sort of time. You know, there's fights, other fights out there, big fights as well. Who's yeah. second on the list for you? Damn it, Brazil. Okay. Listen, I did like to fight Joshua Wilder Fury. I would like to fight anyone of those three. But they seem to be in a situation. Rumor have it that Joshua's going to fight Millet in Madison Square Garden. So let's see. There's, there's, there's Brazil, Manuel Char, but he's lost the belt, so he's, he's irrelevant now. But you never know, it's boxing. And Miller and Brazil, 
Manuel Cha, I will seven days to fight for WBA regular title. I'd love to fight for WBA regular title. You know. That's the title Miller's supposedly meant to be fighting for at some point. They said in January, Miller ain't fighting in January. That, that sucker look at it was 27 stones in a sign. He ain't. He is no way fighting um, 22nd of January or whatever. Why have this, like the you and Tyson Fury thing been relit? What, what's been said? Because I'm assuming that's sank by you rather than I haven't heard Fury mention. I haven't you. said anything. He, there, was, there was talks before it from, from before. You know, he was saying, oh, my bar, my mom, dust it, this, that, and the other, and then that's it. You know, you know, we tried to get the fight made before. Um, didn't happen, but that's it. You know, if someone's saying, oh, my bar, my mom, dust it, then I'm going to. You know. To be fair, he calls everyone a bum and a dosser. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one for sitting back and just taking what's given to me, am I? You know, so. But that's and I want to fight. I want big fights, you know. He says he's the best. I want to fight the best. You know, what am I going to do? What, sit around? You know, I want to fight and, and, and have good fights. I mean, listen, I've got probably another five, six years left in their business, man. You know. <laughs> I want to fight, so, you know, I don't want to waste my time fighting nobody. Let me look at my record. You know, I want to fight. What else is there for me to fight apart from Wilder Fury? It's only possible fight, fight out there for me. That's it. What else is there? Wilder, Fury, Joshua, Miller. Brazil. Brazil. That's it. What else is there? If Manuel Chad the title still, then possibly him, but that's it. There's no one else. Usek. Who? Usek. No one knows who Usek is. Yeah, <laughs> he's a good fighter and he's got loads of belt. No one knows him. Speaks no English. Oh, I, you know what I'm saying? It's not really a big fight, is it? The hardcore boxing fans will watch it, but imagine trying to sell Dylan White Usek to the general public. It's not, you know. But you know me, I'm, I'm the can man. Whoever want it, can get it. So... Okay, so your situation, you want resolved ASAP within the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. to know what you're doing. But your hunch is that you think Joshua will fight Miller in, in New York. Yeah. It's a small world and a lot of things you hear in boxing, there's usually a massive amount of truth to it. You know? So let's see. I'll tell you what, if you and Miller ever fight, I don't know what would happen, but one thing is for sure, Miller is a far better footballer than you. Yeah, he probably is. I don't know what was going on there, because I wasn't expecting... Did you watch Miller on Tucker Ryan? No. I ain't got time wasting. I was watching Nutty Professor at the time. Nutty Professor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Hercules. It's, it's the same people, isn't it? Miller and him, ain't it, ain't it the oh. same people? Um, but he's, a, he's not a bad footballer by the looks of it. He was banging in 25 yarders when you were kind of struggling again. Bro, don't not, ever do I, that I don't like sport, I don't like nothing to do with balls, bro. I don't play no sport with balls. I, I'm allergic to balls. Clearly, Miller has got I a thought, fetish do you know for the balls. The first time I saw you in soccer, I am. I thought you were joking. It was a joke. Like, you know, when you... Yeah, but I scored the last two times, though. No, but you know when you tried to hit the yeah, ball. Yeah, but that girl fell flat in her face, though. So don't put it to me. That girl was a pro footballer. And she ran up and fell flat in her face. So whatever I did up to that, that's an achievement. I thought you would have been all right at football. Clearly not, but... I fight, man. You know, I, 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 well, like I said, I'm allergic to balls. So I'm, not, I'm not a fan of balls at all. It's football but crossbars. I mean, it's yeah, not... I, I don't, nothing to do with balls. Cricket, basketball, balls, balls. I don't play nothing to do with balls. I leave the balls to you. You look at you're a good baller. Um... What's the plan now? You're just ticking over. When did, when did you just go back in the gym after the 22nd? <clears throat> I think last week I did a couple of sessions with Simon. And that's it. And I done one the week before, one this week. And I'm doing one today. I've probably done about four training sessions. Mm. But no boxing, no cardio for now. Just a bit of weights, some core stuff, some stability stuff. Back on the cardio from next week. Short, explosive cardio. A few sets just to keep your ticker going. Yeah, I just imagine saying, Dill, don't let it go, Sean. Just keep your ticker blowing out. Yes. Few shits of this, few shits of that. It's good for your cardiovascular. You know what I mean? <laughs> I spoke to him. I spoke to him um, the other day. The guy is nuts, man. He went, he went Sean, 
He's fucking amazing. He did a great job. He, he, he ironed him like a shirt. He pressed him like a shirt. I was, I was loving. He went, you done me proud, Sean. You done me proud. I was loving. Well, Mark's a, Mark's a good really, guy. It's um, a relationship that never would have thought would have ever have come between you and Mark Tibbs. It's mad, but it seems to work very well. That's, that's boxing, though. Boxing does strange things, man. Boxing, boxing... Just this strange thing, the boxing brings and unite people all around the world, different races, different religion, different, you know, boxing, boxing is a combat, combat sport in itself is a great sport. And that's why I always advise parents, make your child study some sort of, practice some sort of combat sport or some sort of um, martial arts, something. It's great discipline and great way of people interacting with people, you know, it's, it's, it's great. It's all around great, man. Rule out ever fighting Derek again? I don't know. Could you see Ian Derek fighting again? Well, I ask myself the question: Would I watch that fight again? And I'd have to probably say yes. I probably mm. would. What to see him get knocked out again? No, that's not what I said. The fight yeah, itself. Very nasty person. Shut up, Dylan. Stop. Nasty human being. Stop causing shit. You just want to see Derek get donkey punched all over again? No, I just said. The first two fights were good, very, very good. Would I like to see it again? Probably. I mean, what do you think Derek will do now? Obviously, he's going to fight on, but what do you think Derek does now? He said he's fighting on. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, Derek, it's a strange one because Derek needs animosity and needle, you know. Who is he going to get away with? Is he going to just go in? He is going to just go in and just, just, um, I don't know. But I wish him success in whatever he does. And you never know. It's heavyweight boxing. He might knock out his next three, four opponent and then you never become can relevant. Tell with Derek, Again, Derek's a madman, yeah. you know. You never know Derek. Have you spoke to him since that night? No, I, I, I wished him a happy new year and Merry Christmas and all that and, and his, his posts and stuff and whatever. And that's it, man. I just said, you know, look after yourself and stay in good health, man. And everyone I fought, even Brown, even Brown, me and Brown speak, you know, me and Parker speak, you know, Parker. You know, me and Parker speak and stuff, you know. I speak to all of these guys, man, you know. At the end of the days, when I'm fighting them, I want to kill. But when after the fight is done, you know, you're, you know, they all got family and stuff, and he's a son, a brother, father, uncle, cousin, sister, whatever. So, yeah. Okay. Lucas Brown obviously being linked with fights with Dave Allen, David Price as well. So. Those, are, those are great fights. Yeah, I, we, I would love, um, if I fight again, those are the kind of fights I'd like to get my undercards. Him versus Dave Allen, I think that's a good fight because they're both tough. And Dave Allen needs his big break, you know. Dave Allen is a good mate of mine and I want him to get his big break, you know. And it's a fight that he could win, it's a fight he could lose. Even Dave Allen and David Price. <coughs> no, because Ron and David Price, they're big fights. Good fights, yeah, definitely. You know, you... I think people would like to see a fight between Allen and Price. That's a good fight, you know. And Dave Allen's got that overhand as well. Price has got power, you know. What do you think of him and the Tom Little st stoppage? Um, I could see where Tom was coming from, like, by it, a lot. It, I mean, it, yeah, it I was could see where around, though, Tom was it? coming from. You could always argue what could have happened in the next immediate few seconds. That's always an argument when things are stopped, you know, oh, he was mm. going to go that way, but I could see where Tom was coming from, but it's not David Price's fault. You he know? turned his back a bit, didn't he? I, I thought it was a bit of a... I thought the referee could have given him a, a, a bit more chance. Uh, um, but when you're fighting guys at price, and the referee knows price, it's hard. So when you get stuck, you have to either take a knee or something. You can't turn your back and stuck away like a referee's going to think, we need to stop this because price carried the power to pull up here. But I think Tom Luke is also a warrior as well. He's tough as well, isn't he? You know, he, he's taking a little punishment and, he, and, and he, he will go out swinging. So maybe the referee couldn't make it go on a little bit longer, you know? But then, who wants to see someone get stretched out as well, you know? What about Luis Ortiz? Is that one of these fights that could materialise for you? Or? It is, but when you think about it, what is it, as a fan, what is in that fight for me? Remember, I tried to fight Luis Ortiz ages ago when, when he was in a good position and he didn't want to fight me, so now all of a sudden... But I, I think if you've done a poll and put Luis Ortiz in it, yeah, but I think Luis Ortiz general, would be... General public and, and the hardcore boxing fans, 
Yeah. Alco Boxovan is yeah. a small market. Yeah, but not many, listen, the, the amount of people who know Luis Ortiz would be the same amount of people that probably know Dominic Brazil, to be no. fair. Dominic Brazil's fought Joshua in the UK. And he speaks English. There you go. Luis Ortiz, no SSC. Eh, eh, Luis Ortiz, puta, 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 Calario. That's, that's it. They're talking about him fighting Joe Joyce, actually. Good fight. But then again, as a fan, I ask myself, would I like to see White and Ortiz? Yes. Of course you would. As a boxing fan, would, would I like to see You that? just care about hits on your channel. Of course you would. What are you talking about? I am going to sit like a posh guy. I want you to fight like, uh, you know. Do you like me sitting like this? They look posh and intelligent. No, because people can't really see. Lee, come back forward. Actually, this is killing my leg. <laughs> um, all right. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? Just thanks for the support, guys. Keep supporting me. Happy New Year. I'm big up to Do you, 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 you know you've been nominated? Did I win? Well, it's not been done yet. Make sure I win, you best rig it. If I don't win, I'm going to F no, you up. No, it's the fans' vote. No, rig it. I can't Get your Sri Lankan it. brothers to hook me up. It'll be announced. I'm probably the biggest boxer in Sri Lanka. Because of me and you. Maybe. Yeah, well, well, that'd be interesting, actually. I, I'm going to check it out. I, I'll let you know. Uh, How are you going to find that out? No, you can check how much people is, is search your name in Google and stuff like that. Maybe I'm a highly search in Sri Lanka. Maybe. Have you forgiven me for not being there on the 22nd? Of course I've forgiven you. Listen, I know you have to do what you have to do, but right? of course I've forgiven you. Know, I was just giving you a stick at the time because that's what I'm doing it. We have that, that relationship. You give me a stick, I give you a stick. But I, 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 I've tried to interview since Christmas Day. We nearly interviewed on Christmas Day, weren't we? But your turkey was late and, uh, yeah. I was cooking me turkey. <laughs> You know what I mean? Me turkey was in the oven. I, I couldn't leave it. You know what I mean? I had to turn it, put a bit of your stuffing inside of it and that. You know what I mean? A bit of Cajun onion. <laughs> onion barge. <laughs> we tried this game once before. I'm going to try it with you now. Yeah, go on. You ready to roll? First thing that comes to your head. Let's go. Let's go. Gerald Miller. Fatty. Joshua. Skinny. <laughs> Yusek. Ugly. Derek. Donkey! <laughs> Wilder. No legs. Fury. Weirdo. Mark Tibbs. All right, Sean, keep it together. Eddie Hearn. Golden Spoon. Someone said one can in the background, not me. Someone said it, not me. Barry Hearn. The Puppet Master. Chicken shop date. Huh? Chicken shop date. You should do Sheesh. chicken. You should do chicken shop date. What is that? Do you Me know what you. it is? No. It's the girl that goes around taking people on dates in a chicken shop. You should do it. Why would I want to do that? I'll hook you up. Why would I want to do that? Free chicken. You're trying to get me in trouble. Free chicken. You're not married. Yeah, but so what? Do you want to shout out any your, your ladies? Big up to all my ladies, <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> It's New Year's, new ladies, them. I need some new... No, I'm joking. <laughs> Are you ever going to get married? Yeah, of course I'm going to get married. Yeah. Of course, but I need to... Traditional find Jamaican the right wedding woman first. What is huh? a traditional Jamaican wedding? I have no idea, bro. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. What is a traditional Sri Lankan wedding? Shotgun to the head. <laughs> you better marry me now, bloody bitch. No, the other way around, to me. You oh. better bloody marry her, mate. Better bloody don't dis disappoint me, mate. Sunita wants the big boy. I need 10 cows, mate, for trade, trade. Data for cows, eh? <laughs> Is that what happened? What's that? No, that's not what happens. It's coming, no, it's, it's I get so much stick, man. Don't worry about it. I, I'm giving you full permission. That's right, because I'm a Sri Lankan as well. I'm going to put the Sri Lankan flag on my next fight now. My next, I put a little one on my shorts. Do you know what? Do you know what, Mr. Trick? Go on. Really, Mr. Trick. Did you give me a little shrink if I could take in the ring? Yeah? And it never happened. I don't know why it never happened. But do you remember in your like third or fourth fight, you went to me, oh, I'm going to put the IFL logo on my shorts. I don't remember that. I never said such thing. You lying fuck. I don't remember such thing. Oh, my God. Uh, you don't look, remember that? Nope. Look, that, that guy's working hard over there. Um, 
it doesn't apply now. I'm well, look, look, that guy is lifting some, some heavy weights over there. Okay. You did say that, though. No, look, look at that girl. She's throwing some wicked punches. Look at Simon in the background. He's got steel hands. Admit it. What? Admit it. I never said that. You did say no, that. No, no, no. In fact, I've got the text on my phone. Show me the text. All oh, right, wait there. Go on. No, that's on my Nokia. No, that's, show me the text, bro. I haven't got a text. I don't know. But you did say I it. I didn't say that. You did say it. <laughs> I didn't say that. You said, I'm going to put IFL on my shorts. I didn't say that. You better, you better someone don't find a video of it. Find a video. And you'll put it on there. Do no, find the video first and let me analyse it because I know you you will send it to Sri Lanka and get them to edit the video. You you get me saying IFL and then you get me saying shorts and you get me saying put and you somehow link it together. You know, you're, you you can't be trusted. How much weight are you going to lose? Why are you losing so much weight, bro? Do you even lift, bro? Yeah. Phil. You, don't, you don't lift? Phil. What? Yeah, Phil. You don't lift, bro. Like, you're losing too much weight. You need to just get in the gym. It's a new year, bro. Put a stone and muscle on. It's all going off here in the, in the gym here. Right? I know. Some of it. Heck yeah. All we need is Mark in the background going, all right, deal. Let's get shim rounds in. <laughs> but no, we need to think, man. Let's do a gym session together. Let's video us in a gym session together one day. Yeah, one day. Don't say one day and then don't do it. I will do it. When? Uh, What's your strongest body part? What, your tongue? What's that? <laughs> Sit, let's do a session together. Not boxing. No, let's just do it. No, I'm not going to try and do things. I'll do, I asked I don't Eddie Hearn. You know, really. I asked Eddie Hearn. Oh, what? About what you said. Oh, what did he say? He said that one day you're going to do something yeah. with consent, obviously, sexual to him. I don't know what Eddie Hearn's talking about. Eddie Hearn's lost his mind. I didn't know he found similar like that. <laughs> it just made things weird, bro. <laughs> you know. But I just asked him if he's got any black in him. And he said no. And I just said, all right, son, we can shut that. That's what I said to him. On that note, Dylan White, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Um, hopefully you'll, like I said, whatever's happened with you, get sorted out sooner rather than later. Bling, bling. April 13th. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see. As long as they're sensible and they don't try and mug me, it will happen. I gave you a hat away, by the way, as well. Is it? Who you get to? I can't think of his name on, on Twitter, but he's got it. I told him to send me a picture, but he has your donkey hat. Who's the donkey now hat? I made a new one that says donkey punch. OK. Who did you buy it? I bought one. Did he? On the website. Why did you buy one? They're not giving you one. Why would you? Why would you buy one, bro? Like you, I bought the paper You're a team body snatcher, though. I don't I, care I, about I, no one else. I you're a team body snatcher. Twice. Do you know that? Listen, Do I was, I I was the original twice? guy, you know. All of these guys are new guys. I was the original guy. You what remember? You mean the original what? Who was under the first on your channel? You Heavyweight. Are, yeah. That's it. So I'm the original guy. You're a team body snatcher. Everyone in the house. They are second. Well, who, who as well, after your difficult situation a few years ago, yeah. you had me round That's someone's right. house. Yeah. That's right. To do the first so, interview. I'm Team IFO, you're Team Body Snatcher. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. That's why you get the exclusive and uh, I make time for you. But I don't like that you've started your own YouTube channel because you're trying to put what? You're trying to put me out of business now. What? Just put the YouTube thing in there what and tell them to subscribe, bruv. What if you need I... to spread the love, bruv. I will. But what if I unleash my. Cousin, super, I just, super I, heavyweight. I'll, I'll, I'll go sit. That's like me, me doing that and putting you out of business. No, my thing's Ahmed different though. Ahmed will knock you out. Both. Ahmed has got a, a strong right. Ahmed can't come in the Catholic church. You burn. <laughs> I'll go sit in the church. Ahmed Cassius, super heavyweight. I'll sit in the church. 280 pounds. I'll sprinkle all the water in Ahmed's face. <laughs> I'm going to put a link to your YouTube channel. No, no, listen, the bro, there's no competition, no, no. man. IFL's IFL. IFL's blowing up. IFL's far superior. No, but it's good that you're doing your own YouTube channel. Yeah, it's something different, you know what I mean? And then it, it opens it to different fans as well, because nowadays some people don't even watch TV. That's what's on YouTube, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to get to more fans and that, you know, to make my thing bigger. I ain't trying to... I'll definitely put the link in for your YouTube channel. I ain't trying to take food out your mouth, bro.
So you should have uh, you should approach me and help me with the YouTube channel. We could have just. I didn't partners. know you were doing one. To be fair, yeah. until it was up and running. We could have been partners, but up and running. You suck. Dylan White, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. I'll let you crack on with the rest of your training session. Uh, I don't. This is a guy here. This a guy. Yeah, smack him up. Smack him. Go box him. Box him. Say so, yeah, you changed. The, he's trying to take your busy. It was his idea. Go box him. Let's go up to him and box him. I'll give you ten pound if you box him. Twenty. Let's box him. One box. Give me two ringside seats to your next fight. I'll give you five ringside seats if you box him. <laughs> I'll give you ten. <laughs> hey, you're dead in here today. <laughs> Hey, Magic Hands has got hands in. He probably though. knocked me out. I won't get up. You ain't got the fucking tickets, have you? Yeah. Uh, Listen, I'll, I'll be watching from hospital bed on like the pro pro hospital pro pay per view. Promise me now, mm. you're going to do a gym session with me. I will do one day a gym session with you. I will, I will, because I think, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. I go to the gym every day, you know. Do you? Yeah. You do too much cardio, though. No, 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 no. I've started to, you know. Okay, that's good. We're going to do a nice session here. I won't, I'm not going to try and kill you. We're going to do a sensible session. Yeah. Let's get it. I'm going to be on to you. <laughs> I've got I'm a great title for a video one day as well. Go on. How to Make Love by Dylan White. What do you reckon? <sighs> Have you seen UFC? Yeah. Have you seen Grand and Pound? <laughs> I've seen. All right, on that note. On that note. Did you see a John anyway. Jones knockout Gustafsson the other day? Yeah. Uh, that's, what, that's what I make love. Dylan White, thank <laughs> you very much. Talking to Iphone TV. And uh, we'll catch up with you soon. All right? Respect, always. Top man.